welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I am taking my pony popcorn to a residential camp for the week and it is a quite a busy day today because well we have to prepare for everything that popcorn needs we need to get his rugs we need to get his food in bags but we need to go to a couple tack shops to get a couple things like a wheelbarrow and maybe a couple other bits and bobs also I'm going to finally get my boots um, and I've been waiting for those for about three months and they're finally in the shop ready to pick up and I am absolutely thrilled. And we've got to get a popcorn over to the new yard um, because that's where he's going to be staying for one whole week. First stop of the day is picking up my brand new boots and I think in a couple minutes we're going to be passing our brand new house and I've only seen, well, we, I've seen it in person but it's only being built at the moment so I am going to be so excited when it's all done and all the furniture's in there. Sadly the garden is not big enough to have popcorn in it but at least we've still got a garden and that's good. And it is actually next door to my friend's house and she's got her ponies in her garden. So, oh there it is, there's it. I'm excited. Hopefully we'll do like a moving in vlog. Um, so that'll be fun. Let me go, let me know guys if you want to see a moving in vlog because that will be really fun and I will be more than happy to film that. So I'm going off on one talking about house, houses and our new house but we'll be moving in you know soon this year. So guys we are just about to pick up the boots. I actually can't remember what they look like so. Let's yeah. have a look. Excited to see these? Yeah I forgot what they look like. <laughs> Oh wow. The gold trim. Yeah. Gold crystals. Oh wow. Those look amazing. Want to try them on? Yeah. Hopefully my foot hasn't doubled in size. Right, in we I go. I feel like taller with these on now. <laughs> I love the gold. It's going to match that jacket. I remember your jacket. Oh yeah, that one. That one, one of many, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I went for kind of like a navy with the rose gold and I definitely won the right top today because I've got rose gold on. Um, that was a coincidence. Um, but we've got all navy stitching and then we've got like it on the toe but then also on the toe we've got a little bit of rose gold. Yeah, me and mum on the day that we like customised them and bought them, um, like, there were so many different options of like what we could make this top piece of. Um, we couldn't really decide. It looks nice because now we've got a navy hat with rose gold on it and we've got navy, my jacket. So this has turned out absolutely brilliant. They're a lot taller than my other ones. But yeah, they're, these are my showing ones. I only will. I'm only going to wear these on like dressage tests. Are these like crystals? Yeah, yeah, stardust. Oh my god. Yeah, it's lovely that. And then these ones over here. Oh my goodness. These are very fun and quirky, these ones. <laughs> So we're just pulling up at a, another tack shop now because we are going to have a look around and see if they've got a small but big enough wheelbarrow because I think we are going to be mucking out our stables when we are on the camp, so yeah. So we spotted a wheelbarrow on the way in, but that's not what we're kind of looking for. That's more of a gardening wheelbarrow. First of all, we're going to decide what colour to get this. I think, should we get it in the blue? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get it in the blue. So it's easier when we can get, when we get him in the trailer, we can just clip him in um, and then we can take his lead rope off. Um, but yeah, we've also, um, because we're going to bag um, all of our feed up and we need to um, stir it all around. So we're going to get a nice baby blue one in this. I haven't got a metal curry comb um, to clean up my brushes. Also, you should never use this on a horse. It's way too sharp. Like, I'm just gently pushing my finger on it and it, it does hurt a little bit. Um, so never use this on a horse. Um, but it's meant to um, 
um, clean down your brushes, like I'll get just a random brush. So it's meant for like, if you've got loads of hair in brushes, you probably won't get that much hair in this because it's got quite long bristles. Um, but say if it was like quite short haired, you could get quite a lot of hair in there. Quick final look round. They didn't have um, the wheelbarrow head that we wanted, um, but that's fine. Um, we could actually know we've got plenty too many liquids. Um, and salt licks. Um, oh, how I, I wonder if popcorn's actually finished his salt lick. Oh yeah. We we put it in there and we haven't um, um thought of it since. So we found the fly sprays. I was panning for a second, thinking that they didn't have a fly spray here because we desperately need fly spray. But we found them and there's three different types. Um, I had these two before. They worked amazingly and I ran out of both. Um, but we haven't tried this one out. Um, it's, we've got the citronella fly wash, um, but we don't have the sit and we haven't used the citronella um, fly spray. We're gonna go for the um, Nath Extra Effect pink one. Mum, look at this. This matches too well, though. Oh my! And that would fit popcorn puff. It matches too well with my top, Mum. Can we please get it? Look, we can use it for everything. And it's got bedazzle all down the side of it. Mum, we've got to get it. Okay, we're getting it. And what about the navy? Show me the navy Should we one. Should get both? No, let's not get both. There's also the navy, but the navy doesn't have any bedazzle. Oh, wait, it does. <laughs> There's two. Oh, it's the navy. Oh, they've only got it um, at the back. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't really need it at the front because you probably wouldn't see it, but uh, at the back. Okay, Mum, should we put up an Instagram poll on which one we should get? Or will they decide quick enough? Okay, we're going to put up an Instagram poll. <laughs> okay, which one? <gasps> we've got like a peacock one. That won't match with anything that we've got though. Harlow, look. Look at that mint green. Oh, it is pretty. Oh, that is nice. Do you think he'd look nice in that? He would look really nice in that, wouldn't he? Oh, we need a pitchfork, don't we? Do we? Yeah, otherwise what are we going to use to muck out our thing apart we'll from the pitchfork? We'll have a look at that in a second. Let me see they've the head collar. Oh, they've got pink? Yeah, they've got pink. Should we get... Okay, mission complete. We don't need anything else now. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Oh, that's a dog lead. We don't need dog leads. Tell me you own a horse without telling me you own a horse. I'll go first. <laughs> when you go into tech shops, you buy a lot more than you need. Like, we went in here just for a wheelbarrow. That changed way too quickly. But to be fair, they are essentials, so we do need them. Like, fly spray. We're out on that. Don't know, well, we're going to use this for the trailer. We need um, a feed mixer. Right, we just went to one of the tack shops. Now we're going to another tack shop to buy a wheelbarrow because they didn't, um, well, they had a wheelbarrow there, but that's more like of a metal one for gardening that you put your weeds in. Um, so yeah, we're going to another tack shop to get a plastic wheelbarrow um, and we're gonna see if they've got pink or baby. I don't know if they'll have baby blue in it. I also got my pink watermelon socks on today. You know, making it all count, making it all match and matchy. But, anyways, right, let's stop talking about socks and get into the tech shop. We're just about to pull up now, and I can't wait to go inside. Hi. Oh, I see a wheelbarrow. I see a pink one over there. Okay, so we found the perfect wheelbarrow. It, oh. The moths come off. There was a moth on there. I wasn't expecting to come off. I thought it was dead, but it's not. Jokes on me. Um, but yeah, we found the perfect wheelbarrow. Do we just bring it into the shop and pay for it? Are these all the wheelbarrows? I mean, it is perfect. I mean, we're gonna have a look inside because why not? So this is like all of the Lemur stuff, it's a little section. 
And this oh, one. look at this house. Look. Hello. I don't have the sage shower pad, Mum, to match. Is this a small? No. no, they're all large. This one's this one's popcorn size, Mum. I do like that head collar though. That is nice. We've got on that in the um, navy. It's really nice. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, I love Where's that. Where's the matching lead rope? You look so nice in those ones. Is there a matching lead rope for us? I don't know. Oh, they've got this matching one. We could. Oh, look at those gloves, Harlow. I've They've got sparkles oh on God, them. Nice. I've already got too many gloves, though. I've got a pair for each discipline. I don't know. Would pops look good in? Oh, I love this, Harlow. Oh, that is nice. Do you like that? Yeah. Is that good for riding? Yeah. And for when England brings us torrential rain. But it is quite nice because you can still... There's a mirror over here. I'm going to look... Does it look what I look like? Yeah, it's quite nice because you can still kind of see the print underneath. I think it's for adults though, which is actually quite good for me because then it covers up like my bum. Do you reckon you could legs. still ride in that? I probably could. Got a model of the legs. We don't actually have any of like overreach bell boot things for popcorn. No, he doesn't, doesn't need them. No. Oh, these boots are nice, aren't they? Those white ones. Have you seen those? Where? Those white boots. And the end. All these ones. I like those meshy ones. Yeah, they're oh, lovely. Nice. They're small as well, they'd fit popcorn probably. Yeah, they'd oh, fit they would, popcorn. They? Yeah, they would. Oh, aren't they? They're nice, nice for like dressage and cross country. Probably not for cross country because we'll get them filthy, but. So we have got like um, a gel pad for um, popcorn when he's jumping, um, just because it's just going to save his back a little bit in case I have like a quite a hard land. Um, but yeah, we've had a look at the back um, because they do like all like the red gorilla feed tubs, and I was thinking they might do a wheelbarrow. And I don't think they do. Does he need another feed bucket, or will he just have his small one? Just have his bucket he's got, yeah. Oh, dress hard, Jesus! Can we get Dad to put over his? Oh, it won't be big. It won't be small enough, will it? Because he's got a smaller bowl. That would be. Well, this would be small enough to put over. No, his... he doesn't need that, darling. Okay. Don't think they do. They do a wheelbarrow up at the front. Oh, here are the little like the utensils. Oh, the uh, baby blue one. That'll get quite dirty though, because we've got a baby blue. Um, Poo picker. Yeah. And it's absolutely filthy. Oh, Grandad oh. Jet, jet washed it. Oh, they do a smaller pink wheelbarrow, do they? Yeah, they do a smaller pink one. Should we get this one? It says for Junior. I don't think that's enough to muck a stable out. Oh, yeah, it's quite smaller than the one this angle. Yeah. And the amount of Let's just get the other one. one does. Right, I think that's fine. I think we better need to hurry up, though, because it's going to be like midnight time we get there. What about these? No, he doesn't need that. He doesn't need that. Right, let's I'm go. I'm just looking around in the stuff Let's just get now. the pad and the wheelbarrow. Yeah, the wheel, the one outside, the pink one. Hopefully no one's took it. They probably won't. <laughs> just fingers crossed still. Right, we'll go tell them we want the wheelbarrow. Okay. Right, so we have got the wheelbarrow and it's actually a lot more like spacious in there than it looks standing up. Like, I want to sit in it, but I don't know if it will topple over, so that's probably a bad idea. But yeah, it's nice. It's got nice handles. Nice and big. Get, it's big enough to, you know, get all of Popcorn's wheeze and poos in. Mum, do you want to help lift it? It's actually a lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. 
Yeah, oh, good job we've got this car, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically been a long old day. We've not got that far, really. <laughs> no, what time is it now? It's like five o'clock and we've not even got popcorn yet. What time do we have to drop him off? Well, I said we'll be there at tea time. We'd, I don't think we'll be there till about seven, half seven. Oh, no. Hopefully they're still How there. long does it take to get him to... It'll take him an hour to get there. Okay. What? Luckily, the state. I don't know why we can't ever be on time, you know? No. We don't always. Know what it is. We always ever find someone to talk to. Yes. So we're 23 minutes from the yard now. Not too bad. I'll see you guys when we get there. So guys, we have arrived at the yard. Popcorn is looking very sleepy, but also very glamorous. He's all groomed down. And guys, it's so sad. His winter coat is coming through. He's going so creamy. I'm very sleepy, but anyways, now it is time to pack for camp. Um, and we've got all of the buckets here. Of course, we have to get our pink bucket and our blue bucket. I think the concept of what we're going for is pink and blue. But we've got um, these just little buckets if we need them. Um, we've got his feed bucket here. The smallest feed bucket on the yard, probably. Um, but yeah, yeah, then we've got um, the grooming stuff. I'm just packing all of the essentials. I've got a hairbrush, shedding tool, some hoof oil, make his hooves nice and shiny, um, a magic brush that we're going to be shedding because we bought um, a tool for that today. Um, just a soft goat brush, another soft goat brush, body brush, dandy brush, another hairbrush, two hoof picks, and that's it. So let's get packing. Also got to get all of his feed ready. My silky mane and tail. Oh, we've bought a new fly spray today, so we'll use that. Oh yeah, we need boots, don't we? We need boots. What type? So, stuff for jumping. Okay. Get his jumping boots. Do you think the ice blue in the musk? That's aqua blue. Oh yeah, the ice blue in the musk. Yeah. Okay. Or the, or the red. He looks lovely in red. Let's go with his birthday colours, the ones that he got for his birthday. Ice blue. <laughs> We've got the polo wrap um, box down. Now it's time to find the red polo wraps without unravelling any other polo wraps that are just out in the open. Found them, that wasn't too difficult. Now I'll just pop these ones down there. Now oh, they're already starting to unravel, I know. Um, do I need anything else? So we're gonna take this a thin little stable rug um, for popcorn. Excuse that it's got poo stains all over it. <laughs> popcorn made himself very at home in that rug. Take that one, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Do we need any other buckets? I'm going to take some treats. I'll take the apple ones because I know he likes those. Oh, hello, Nismo. I didn't realise you were there. Let's go into the pack room now. Hello. Popcorn's like, what are you doing? Oh, we need his bridle. That's over here. Can't forget that. We'll take two bridles. We'll take all three whips. So I use this one for like show jumping or cross country. I use this one on hacks. Um, and then I use this one for dressage. I'm a multitasker. And my arm's already starting to ache. So I'm going to pack these straight away. Um, because these are probably the most important um, items that we're going to take. Apart from popcorn. Popcorn's obviously the first important ice which fly rug we're going to take should we take the sea creature fly rug yeah. so on this camp we have absolutely so much riding to do probably even more than pony club camp we've got hacks dressage cross country show jumping um probably mounted games so that'll be fun i'm even going swimming not with popcorn sadly <laughs> um but yeah right we'll take these I also need to get some fly bonnets. Oh, you got flies on your face. 
there we go. So now it's time to bag Popcorn's feed up for the week. Um, we've got these little Ziploc bags um, to put his feed in. It just saves us taking all of the big bags of feed. And it's just really good for me because I can unlock it and then just pour it straight into the feed bowl. So, right, let's get bagging because we are actually running a bit late. The camper just called us to ask where we are. So he has a quarter scoop of this. Hopefully I don't fall in the feed bin. So about that much. Oh, that's way too much. That's like three quarters. So that's how much popcorn has of that. I'm going to do it over this because I don't want it to all... My method seems to be working. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I'm just going to get an extra little scoop because a bit of that did pour away, so about that much. A bit of this is probably going to pour away. We're never going to get the exact amount, okay? Yeah. Right, that's good. So now I'm going to have about this, this much of this. going to pour that in there. And that's one feed done. Time to make about 10 more of these. And also, Popcorn's feed does get soaked. I just mix this up a little bit, because you know. The feeds are all done, now I'm just doing the supplements. And we're putting all the supplements together in one bag. One, two, Now I do two of these. One of this. There we go. Right guys, we have finally packed. Popcorn has got his travel boots on and dinner all around his mouth. Um, I've tried to brush it all off. Time to go, Popcorn. Off we go to camp. Come on. Right, Popcorn is all packed away in the trailer and we're about 15 minutes away from the yard. It's quite far. It actually took um, about an hour to get here. Um, Popcorn's been an absolute angel. He's just, you know, back in the trailer. As usual, he's not eating. But yeah, he's been an absolute golden star with it all and Oh my god, look guys, this is so fancy. Oh my god, they've got like their own entrance. Down here. Equestrians. So we have finally arrived at the yard and oh boy, that was quite a long drive but i'm just undoing all the buckles on the trailer and getting popcorn out and as usual he has to have a look out the trailer door and see what's going on but this is popcorn's new home for the rest of the week um he's just walking in the yard um that we were staying at is actually quite um old but it was really really nice it had quite a big like courtyard and loads of tie-ups so we're just being shown to Popcorn Stable and they chose the right area, not for filming because it was quite dark in that area, but the right area to store all of our stuff because we had a big old rug rack. And oh my goodness, look, he has to go and roll in his travel boots. And his face was rolling along the brick floor, which was a little bit sad for me. Bless his little socks off. He must have wanted an itch or a scratch or, you know, to make a statement that that was his stable. Putting popcorn away was the easy bit. That's done and dusted. He can walk himself to the stable and I don't have to carry him. But with all of his stuff and his accessories and mine, I can't really carry those all in one bit can I so I've put them all in the wheelbarrow and this doesn't look like it's going that well 
Thankfully, the wheelbarrow didn't topple over, which was a great start. But now I'm just finding a place for everything. Um, we did actually have quite a lot of hooks, as you can see. So we hooked all of the stuff up there. And the saddles and bridles went into the tack room. And popcorn is just covered in shavings and sawdust. So it is the next day. Popcorn has had his first little sleep overnight. And I'm just mucking out at 8.30 in the morning. I'm not normally used to mucking out, so I don't have the best skills in the world because he's on full livery. But he has done a fair amount of poos, and because they have sawdust, the poos kind of camouflage themselves, and it's quite hard to find the little nuggets. So they kind of escape. But I try to get um, the biggest plops, and then I go around after and get the little nuggets. This was actually one of my favourite things to do at camp. It's just the experience of mucking out popcorn by myself. Um, and I did not like doing this water bucket. Popcorn, uh, I think at one point, pooed in his walker bu water bucket and weed in it. And soaked his hay himself. So he definitely had a fun time with his water bucket. Sadly, we weren't actually allowed to film when the camp started, um, so this is all the footage we got. I would have absolutely loved to show you what we got up to at camp, but we weren't allowed. Um, but I fell off twice jumping, um, just a little show jump. Popcorn didn't like the look of it and said, ladies first, twice. But yeah, everything was good. I wasn't hurt. And yeah, overall, the camp was just absolutely great and I've just come on so much. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!